Today we are going to learn how to draw a teddy bear. I'm going to use a 2B to mark what is going to be the top of the teddy bear. I'll probably put the mark over here. That will be the top. And probably this is will be the bottom of the teddy bear. I want to see overall where the whole teddy bear is going to place in. We're going to draw the area. So this is what be the area for the teddy bear. Maybe I want to make it a little bit higher. After you place the whole big shape, the whole big mass of the shape for the teddy bear, I'm going to see uh, probably uh, the butt of the teddy bear would be somewhere over here. And I have a little opening here and the two legs over here. I think the head a little bit longer than the body. Do a little measurement. From the top of the head to the chin, the chin to almost to the bottom of the leg. Almost. So with that said, I'm going to have this cut it into almost to the bottom. So I'm going to put it here. The bottom of the leg is over here. Yes, I can just divide it into a half. Okay. So that means this is the, the chin. That's the chin. And this is will be uh, the legs. Now we just divide this into two different spaces. One is this for the head. Now we can see the head almost look like a triangle. Is that right? Almost like a triangle. Uh, it's a little round corner triangle. We can draw something like that. The shoulder starting over here. The body look like a, a circle. Almost like a circle. Right? Now you see I draw so much pencil over here. You may be a little afraid. Oh my god, I'm going to have to erase all of them now. So don't worry. We can erase that later. So now it's just the body over here. Now it's the head. The head look like a, a small corner a triangle. Right? So you just draw it loosely. And what's this the, the hand? The hand looks like a stick to the body. Okay. And what about on this side? This hand a little bit different angle. So starting from the shoulder, come down over here. So nothing definite yet. We just uh, play with the the shape. And then what about this leg? This leg, I think is something over here. Like this. And about on this side, there's the bottom of the foot. And there's something connected to the foot. So you almost see this is a cylinder uh, coming out toward us. And this is the bottom of the foot. The same thing over here. You need to see this is the bottom of the foot. And there's a cylinder between the body and the foot here. And maybe this a little bit come out a little more. It's about right here. You can draw a curved line. That is just the line uh, for the uh, for the mouth area, and there's just a nose here. As so this curved line is for the eye. You can draw the two eye here. I think that two eye a little bit closer. Right, right here. Like that. And then what about the ear? The ear is right here and a little bit kind of attached to uh, the side, almost at the corner of this triangle. Okay, and the other one attached to here. Come in a little like this. Now we come in here. There's a form come out from the face. And the eye here, I draw the eye a little bit right here. Good. And what I would like to do at this point, I want to make the line a little bit more accurate. And before I move on to the next step, I'm going to starting here. So I'm going to draw that. Okay. I don't want to draw it too dark. Okay. 
just making the line is you can see it visible but I don't want to make it too too dark okay I continue render draw the line over the ear here and then I'm gonna coming down here okay good moving along okay it's good come to this point okay good look at only that little portion of the line at a time without looking at the the line observe closely you're gonna make lots of mistakes now on this side of the face i only need to look at this much of the line and stop and look at this much of the line and stop and now this line come out a little bit here you go good now i connect this back to uh, this point and then I come in here I think the nose can be a little smaller okay that's good right that's good and what about the eye I think the eye can be a little bit smaller okay stop and look again and over here there's another eye a little smaller right here now at this point, I'm also going to mark the highlight of the eye. The highlight of the eye is right here. So I can draw a little darker areas around the highlight. And a little highlight over here too. Okay. And shade it a little. That's good. And also probably shade it a little bit to the nose. And now we're going to continue down to the body, the shoulder, and the shoulder is actually attached to here, not there. Starting over here, and I'm going to go around the edge, the outline of this arm. I, just, I don't think it's that long, so I'm going to starting make the curve from here, and then here you go. Oh, hold on. Okay. You don't want to keep drawing, drawing without looking. And coming back here and there's a curve line over here stop a little curve there and then carefully just looking at the line how it curve and coming down and one little portion of the line at a time okay keep looking and pass it while you're looking and then turn here okay and then starting over here come up a little good stop here and then I continue and this step is try to find uh, the, the contour line then making sure the contour line which is the outline of the shape correctly okay and over here, coming up a little, there's a curve like this. Good. And then I'm going to come back here to starting drawing this arm. Okay. Is that long? You keep asking yourself. And you draw one portion at a time. Okay, I think I stop. Make a turn over here. So it's very important that you look at a small portion of the line pass a pencil look again and pass a pencil and then look again and then come back in here there's a line don't draw too fast because you need to see you need to look i think this curve line is in the wrong place it should be starting over here that's good i'm going to come back here to see there is a a line and in between the ears and the head and also on this side too good now when you get to this point you'll feel really really good because the next step is very very easy Do you know what the next step will be we're going to shade a little value and then blend it with the blender and will look really good let's do it this time I'm going to change it to a 4B, so a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do, 
uh, I'm gonna follow the contour of the shape. Okay, that's the teddy bear. You see the, the shape going this way, the direction of the surface going this way, and the ear going to about this direction. Okay, like that. And actually the whole face is kind of darker than white. And what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna draw everywhere, make it a little darker first. So the whole face kind of curve in this direction. And I'm not going to uh, bring any shape into the highlight of the eye. I'm going to reserve it and just going to go into that direction. Do a little more uh, on the face first, okay, before we go to the body. And let's use a blender. Let's see. Yay. Looks pretty good. Let's shade it. Good. All right, there's a lot more detail we can do on the face, but we decided to move on to the body and then we come back to do more details on the face. The body here. I'm gonna shading the direction uh, from top to the bottom. And actually the body here, a little curve. Like this. That's the body. And what about the leg here? And going this direction, I think it going like this on this side of the of the foot. If you recognize how uh, the surface turn, it really helps you to understand uh, the form uh, of each part of the body, okay? So try to recognize that. And I'm also going to shade into the arm, this arm. And I think this a little curve on this side and this side curling in from this direction, okay? What about here? Good. I'm putting a little value here. And now I'm going to blend the value on the body and the arm. Okay. I'm going the direction of the body from left to right. Okay. And over here, for this arm, and for this arm. And what about here? I'm gonna bring this a little bit more. This side is actually darker. The lighting coming from this side of the directions. So what are we gonna do next thing? Next thing, we're going to have some area make it a little lighter. What we're gonna use to make something lighter the eraser. Now I'm gonna make this side of the, of the nose area a little bit lighter here. Okay. This a little bit lighter. This a little bit lighter. The top of the head. On this side a little bit lighter. And now let's use the eraser to help you some area lighter. Okay. What about the body here? This is also lighter too. Uh, on this side of the leg, this side a little bit lighter. And the top of the arm, also a little lighter. This side a little bit lighter too. Okay, that's good. So what next thing we're gonna do? Next thing we are going to keep uh, some darker areas, another layer of pencil. And what is darker? Okay, right under the chin, that is pretty dark because it has shadow, right? It has a very dark shadow. So we're gonna add that little darker value to that. 
and also over here under the arm, also a little darker too. It's pretty easy to do. And here, and then under the nose here, a little bit darker. Okay. And this, I keep a little detail. I think that I can make it much darker on this side, make a little bit more rounded. Okay, this side a little bit darker too. Okay, and here a little darker. And we're gonna give you a little details later, not right now. Okay, this is, can be a little darker. And this is also dark, under here is dark too. And actually, something we haven't started, that is just there, catch the shadow. Okay, we're gonna bring the catch the shadow next. And this side a little bit darker too. Okay, this side a little bit darker too. And I catch the shadow right underneath here. And on this side, it's darker. This I have a little uh, middle value uh, for the catch the shadow. We're gonna use the blender. The blend that together, make it softer. Okay. The catch the shadow too, the teddy bear, make it a little softer. Make it blend it to be consistent to the rest of the mark in the drawing. Okay. Next, we're gonna clean up the outside, the mark, the pencil that we don't want it to keep, okay? Including on this side, outside here. We don't want to keep that. Next, we can walk into the details. Over here has uh, some kind of uh, texture, right? And you can walk in the texture. And now this is the time you can enjoy making the texture for the surface of the teddy bear. And you can add the little texture here, like this, All right? And you can add as much texture as you want, but at the end, you probably want to realize that uh, it could be too much texture, and you might want to reorganize some texture, maybe even remove some of the texture but we're gonna add something to make it look like more as a soft teddy bear. It's not smooth. It's a fluffy surface. Good. Right. And maybe on the body here too. Detail, it won't happen until you organize the big areas. We also call the big areas to be masses. You organize those before you come into do the details. And at this point, you also, if you like, you can put the band-aid over here. I'm going to show you how easy to add the band-aid. That is suggesting that's the band-aid. And what we need to do to make it look like a band-aid, just make this part a little bit lighter. And I have this definition here. Okay. That blend it a little bit. That would make it look like a, a piece of band-aid. It doesn't stand out too much but it recognized the shape 
as a bende on the arm. And here also can be darker. And you can adding the detail at the same time, adjusting the value. And some things should be darker, some might need to be lighter. And over here is a little smoother from, from bottom here coming up to the light. Okay. So this is the way to draw the teddy bear.